வணக்கம் வெல்கம் அண்ட் சலாம் சேத்ரு ஐ எம் எம்சான் வேர்ட்ஸ் தாட்ஸ் அண்ட் இமோஷன்ஸ் டுடே ஐ வாண்ட் டு டாக் அபவுட் வாட்ஸ்அப் அண்ட் ப்ரைவசி ஸோ வாட்ஸ்அப் ஹேஸ் பிகம் அ பிக் டாபிக் எவ்ரிபடி இஸ் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் இட் அண்ட் பீப்புள் ஆர் சேயிங் தட் ஆஃப்டர் எயிட் ஃபெப்ரவரி யூ கேனாட் யூஸ் வாட்ஸ்அப் தேட்ஸ் லைக் சேயிங் தட் யூ கேனாட் ப்ரீத் ஆஃப்டர் எயிட் ஃபெப்ரவரி தட்ஸ் நாட் ட்ரூ ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ we are going to let you know few things number 1 i'm going to talk about what is privacy is privacy actually important and we are going to talk about what is the difference between telegram whatsapp and signal signal has become very popular now so we're going to talk about that so tune till the end of this video i'll be explaining to you what are the differences okay now first off <coughs> what i want to ask everybody is should we stop using whatsapp is whatsapp really bad is whatsapp actually trying to take away everything that you have okay so now if you think about this if you think about this first of all before we talk about whatsapp before we talk about anything else i want to talk about privacy i want you to understand what is privacy first okay so this is the definition this is the definition that i found from google so what is privacy privacy is a state in which one is not observed or disturbed by other people the state of being free from public attention in a very simple terms your stuff you keep it you deal with it nobody else need to know so that's what we say privacy now the problem that i have is the problem that i have or the problem that everybody says is that hey i'm not doing anything wrong so what if facebook knows about it so what if instagram knows about it so what if anybody knows about what i'm doing so the problem is this is like saying you're going to go to the toilet and you're okay with people knowing what you're doing inside the toilet i think you don't want people to know what you're doing inside the toilet right or even in your bedroom so that is why we say privacy is very important now most of the time we think that people are taking away a lot of information from us and we are okay with that because we actually don't know what is the repercussion what actually happens when people take away your information for example from the beginning of the time tech giants right so tech giants like facebook twitter instagram google have been offering free services and hey we are happy we are happy hey this is so free so i'm i'm fine to have this uh, you know uh, free stuff and we have a saying if something is free and you are using it that means you are the product and what is the product now your data is the product how where you go how long you use your handphone uh, what type of services you are using what kind of apps you are installing and what people are going to do with this they're going to use this to make ads personalized ads and who gets the benefit out of this this tech tech giants and you can see that most of the tech giants are billionaires right so now what is so creepy about this i am sure everybody has felt this for example whenever you guys like you know right now i say refrigerator and you go to facebook and you look for refrigerator you will see an advertisement for refrigerator is that creepy probably uh once our video gets monetized you will actually see the moment i say refrigerator there going to be an advertisement about refrigerator right so yeah so that's how creepy data collection is now what is so wrong about this so now we all know that right now a lot of things are happening for example donald trump has been banned from twitter and of course there's a lot of reasons why twitter banned but now it brings the question does social media do social media should have that kind of a power where they can actually block a prime minister a president of a country so what if a president or prime minister can be banned what about us so there are only few tech giants who are monopolizing right and we're going to call this as data opoly for example like monopoly we're going to say this is data opoly and because they monopolize this data there is actually no pressure they can do whatever they want with the data next this leads to surveillance and security risk right any point of time i google knows 
you better than you your parents might not know your girlfriend might not know about you but google definitely knows about you next this because all these companies are located in some country most of it in us suddenly the us government decides hey i want all the data nothing can the tech giants do they can always take away your data next significant cost on third parties and less innovation in the market because they control all this information whenever they see new product is coming uh, into the market they go and buy and that's what actually happened to whatsapp so whatsapp was bought by uh, mark zuckerberg for 22 billion right and imagine you are mark zuckerberg you bought something for 22 billion and it does not make money for you will you be happy definitely no and that's what mark zuckerberg is doing so the issue here is that where a lot of people are talking about is because facebook sorry uh, whatsapp updated their privacy policy and then we kind of like uh, they did not give us any other choice but you have to agree to continue to use if not you won't be able to use so this is the argument that i get from my friends which is my data is worthless whatsapp can do anything with them so the problem is whatsapp cannot read your private chat that's for sure whatsapp cannot read things that you share because it's end-to-end -end encryption but the problem is the other information that they are collecting about you for example how often you're using your phone what is your group name what is your group photo right uh, what kind of uh, information you put in your about us section how often you use whatsapp which contact do you talk to the most right this kind of information are very valuable information where they can use and decide and to do something about it at some point there are chances where they can abuse it now finally coming back to our question should we move away from whatsapp okay i'm going to be very honest to you it's going to be really difficult for us to make any changes because for the past six seven years all of us have been using whatsapp and we are all very comfortable with this and we all know that only change is changing right nothing else is changing so in that sense it's going to be difficult should you move away from whatsapp that's totally up to you if you're okay with sharing your data with whatsapp facebook and you don't care about it then it's fine but if you think you should look for another alternative then you have signal which you should go and soon uh, we're going to show you what is the differences between uh, telegram whatsapp as well as signal okay now telegram is developed by uh, two developers they are from russia so the problem with telegram is only the secret chat is end-to-end -end encryption so now most of you might be asking what is end-to-end -end encryption so end-to-end -end encryption means something that is encrypted in your phone and can only be viewed to whoever you are sending. So that means the server or the network, the ISP would not be able to see your information, right? So the problem with Telegram is it's not enabled by default. Only the secret chat actually uses the encryption. So if you're going to use a normal chat in Telegram, so it's actually not an end-to-end -end encryption. So whoever has access to the server, they would be able to view that information on the other hand whatsapp is end-to-end -end encryption but because of their latest privacy update it's basically sharing a lot more information compared to what they used to share and finally we have signal signal is created by the founder of whatsapp so it is built based on uh, donations donations from people so they use that to basically build the signal and a lot of you might have this question so what if he again sells signal to some other companies so the issue with whatsapp was it was privately funded so they have to make money out of it so they sold but signal is created by a group of people and it created by a foundation and it's being being donated and so everybody is sharing the money to run signal so that way we can ensure that it will remain private truly end-to-end -end encryption and no tech giants can take over signal i hope this gives you a good uh, example whether to choose signal whatsapp or telegram i am nobody to tell you should use signal it's all up to you and i hope you guys have a great day and if you are interested we did another video on malaysians who do not have my card you probably want to check that out uh, in our channel and thank you for watching have a great day have a good day